Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. M. It is now Tuesday of our week of travel and global awareness. So today I'm reading from one of our more popular characters in the library, Olivia. And this is a story of Olivia visiting Venice. So I chose it because, you know, at the very beginning of all the quarantine, COVID, coronavirus stuff, there was all that fake news going around about um, dolphins in the canals of Venice, um, which that part wasn't true because dolphins um, actually go into other canals in a different part of um, Italy, like all the time, apparently. I don't know. I'm not from there. Um, but the waters are very clear in the canals of Venice right now because of the lack of gondola traffic. So the sediment hasn't been mixed up and making the water dirty. So it's actually really clear and pretty right now. So I thought this would be a fun book to read just because it seemed a little bit topical. So here we go. This is Olivia Goes to Venice. Olivia Goes to Venice, written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. It was time for spring vacation. Olivia decided that she and her family ought to spend a few days in Venice. There was a lot of packing to be done. Olivia, you won't be needing your snorkel, said her mother, or your flippers. Mother, apparently this city is underwater, is often underwater, and or your water skis. As they went through the airport, Olivia searched for, was searched for weapons. She was very pleased. On the plane, Olivia asked her mother about the food in Venice. Don't worry, sweetheart, you can get pizza and ice cream everywhere. Everywhere? Olivia was relieved. They arrived very late at their hotel. Olivia was so sleepy. She didn't even notice the view from her window. Oh, what a beautiful view. Early the next morning, they set forth. They crossed a pretty little bridge, and then another, and then another. Wait, cried Olivia. We've been crossing the same canal. I think we're lost, and my blood sugar is getting low. We'll get some ice cream I promise, promised her mother. It's called gelato, replied Olivia. They all decided to have gelato. Crossing a big bridge, Olivia saw the Grand Canal for the first time, lined up with its glittering, many-colored palazzos. Olivia said to her mother with an edge of hysteria in her voice, Oh, please. Oh, please, Mother, can't we live in a palazzo on the Grand Canal? Just an edge of hysteria. It was a life-changing experience for Olivia. She needed another gelato. Or maybe two. Or three. When she was refreshed, they wandered on. Finally, they passed through a dark archway and in to the Piazza San Marco. Olivia was overcome by its beauty. Mother, I think I could use another. Her mother sighed. I think we all could. Olivia wanted to buy corn to feed the pigeons. She held out the corn, but couldn't find many pigeons. Oh! But they soon found her. Oh, my goodness. After that exhausting encounter, Olivia required another gelato. The next day, Olivia begged her parents, Oh, Mommy, Daddy, please, can we take a gondola ride? Gondola! Gondola! Olivia negotiated the price. The gondolier waved them aboard with a gallant... Perego. Tourists. Always too much gelato. Olivia found it very restful. The gondolier did not. 
They came out onto the Grand Canal and passed under the magnificent Rialto Bridge. Eventually, they emerged out from under the Bridge of Sighs. Olivia sighed. <sighs> By now, Olivia was completely entranced. I must have something to remember Venice by. I must find the perfect souvenir. How about a chandelier? Olivia, that's bigger than your room, said her mother. What about a gondola? Sweetheart, try to find something you can carry. Lace? Very pretty, but not really very Olivia. A mask? No, thought Olivia. I'll only wear it once. Perfume? Olivia didn't really like perfume. Fussy by Olivia. Eau de perfume. Besides, she's planning her own line. On their last day in Venice, Olivia and her family went back to San Marco. The basilica was all peach and gold in the afternoon light. Mother and father were finishing their coffee. Olivia and Ian were playing by the bell tower. I found it, cried Olivia, the perfect souvenir. What is that, asked her mother. One of the actual stones of Venice, said Olivia, from the bell tower. Olivia, said her mother. If everyone took a piece of Venice with them, the city would fall down. Now. Leave that with the waiter. We've got to get to the airport. Bong, 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 bong. Mommy, are those bells ringing for us? Yes, dear. They're reminding us that we're late. Oh, my. I think we'd better hurry. Olivia turned to take one last look at Venice. Look, they're waving us goodbye. I'll always remember Venice, Mommy. Do you think Venice will remember me? Probably. As soon as she got on the plane, Olivia fell fast asleep and dreamed. Monumento Olivia. The end. Oh, well, that's fun. I hope you enjoyed this delightful book of Olivia getting into all sorts of trouble um, on her tour of Venice with the beautiful pictures. And hopefully every time we do get to travel, we leave the place better than we found it and not in a pile of rubble. I know my child would easily leave most places in a pile of rubble. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.